we're going to do a very short, simple overview of Facebook analytics. I wanted to show you what the main categories in analytics are about, and I want to show you where to find them. So once again, you're going to sign into your personal Facebook page. You're going to navigate over here to this little down arrow. You're going to click it. And under pages, you're going to click your business page. Now I'm on my personal brand page, which is actually a business page, even though it, it doesn't look that way right now uh, by the name. But what you're going to do now is you're going to go up to this button that says insights and you're going to click on it. And you're going to see some like an overview of all of your analytics. So there's a few things you can do. First of all, you can go um, yesterday. Uh, you can go seven days, you can go up to 28 days. You can also export the data into a spreadsheet if it helps you to analyze the numbers and things better. We're not going to make this complicated. This really doesn't need to be complicated. So I just want to go over the main categories with you here. So this category, actions on the page, is basically the number of people that clicked on your page's contact info or call to action button. So they clicked on something to get uh, more information from you essentially. Okay, so this, so right here, page views is the number of times a person has viewed your profile. That's, you know, the main home page on your Facebook page. And it doesn't matter if the person was logged in or not, they're still counting that. So that's what that number there is. Now, page previews is the number of times people hover over your name or profile picture when they see it in a list. And they just get that snippet of content about you. Page likes is pretty self-explanatory. That's the number of people who like your Facebook page. And remember, this is all during a certain period of time. Now, this number here is post reach. So what that means is it's the number of times that your post uh, was placed on the newsfeed of somebody. Whether they saw it or not, we don't know. I mean, they could be scrolling their newsfeed and their dog barks and they turn around for a split second to look at the dog and don't you know they've scrolled right past your post and never saw it. So this is kind of, um, reach is kind of a tough number. It gives you a basic indication of uh, how many times this post is being shown by Facebook. And that's all of your posts during that time, by the way. And story reach is how many times people viewed your story. Now, again, as you can see here, it says it may not be precise, but how many times that it showed up on somebody's screen? Again, were they scrolling super fast? Did they see it? Did they glaze over it? Were they on the phone and didn't notice? There's a whole bunch of other, uh, these are not hard data numbers. Now, recommendations are the number of times people recommended your page. And if you remember, you've got that reviews section, um, which are recommendations where these are awesome and amazing. So um, if you get these, you definitely want to show them on your page. Now, this is post engagement. And basically, this is the number of times that people reacted to, commented to, shared, clicked, did something, took some sort of an action on one of your posts. And now your videos... This is the number of times your video was played for at least three seconds. I know that's not a very long amount of time and they auto play. And so was the person scrolling so slowly that the auto play went through the three seconds and they never even noticed it? Did they watch the whole thing? Again, tough number. Um, this number right here, page followers, is the amount of people who have clicked on your page to follow it. Likes and followers, pretty similar. Okay, and this is orders. Now, if you sell something through your Facebook page, you can actually sell on Facebook, and uh, you doing it through Facebook allows them to track your orders. This is the number of individual orders or individual sales you made during that time frame. So this information is, um, is helpful and useful, and you can click on anything here. Uh, let's click on page previews maybe. Okay, that one's not too interesting. Let's click on page views. So here we go. This is just a one week period of time. There's six days. 
and it looks like there were seven on May 17th. So um, my page isn't very big, and I'm uh, quite honestly not the best at posting consistently um, to this particular page, but you can it kind of gives you an indication. Your numbers will probably start to look a lot better than these, but you can click into any of these things, videos, um, video insights. Here's some performance. So what this is telling you is all my videos during May 11th and May 17th, people watched a total of 49 minutes, we think. And 22 people watched at least three seconds of my video. So you can kind of get an indication by, uh, you know, jumping through these little things here and clicking on them, just what um, type of information you can learn. Now look at the post reach over here. Remember, post reach is strictly, hey, Facebook stuck on somebody's news feed. They see it, we don't really know. The organic means I just posted it and it was spread or shared by Facebook or others. Paid means it was an ad. Okay. I don't run ads to this page. As you can tell, there's no, no orange there. Um, so, you know, it, as you, and, and you can see it takes Facebook a little bit of time to complete the um, information. So it's just a couple days behind here, a day or so behind, but you can see on, on April 29th, my organic reach, meaning just posting and not paying for an ad was 52 people. So you know, again, do we, did they see it or interact or care? We don't really know, but um, it does give you some indication. The other things you want to look at are things like reaction, shares, comments. And what this can tell you is what days are your posts doing the best? Oh, look, this looks like it was May, April 30th, May 1st. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, April 29th. So that was a good day for me. What day of the week is it? Um, Here's the other thing it can tell you is your total reach. You know, what days of the week uh, did I, do I do the best? Um, you know, different things like that. You know, you can look at a little bit more about your demographics. So now I want you to go to, or I want to show you the followers. So when we look at followers, we can say total page followers as of today is 312. Um, again, not a huge page. But uh, here is some information. Okay, look at this. Where your page followers happened. They came in through desktop. They came in through search. They came in through my page. So uncategorized, they don't really know where they're coming from. The other nice thing you can do when you click on the people tab is you can find out, is it men or women? Mine's a really even split. So this is really cool because what you can learn here is the age of your audience. So now fans is people who like your page. And we can see that the largest number of people who like my page, they're between 55 and 64 years old. And then if we go to followers, same thing. And people reached, let's take a look at that. Same thing. So we know, I know the age of my audience. And the interesting thing here is you can speak to your audience on a level um, that they can relate the best to. So this is it, really important information. Now we saw that my demographics are pretty well mixed male to female. But if yours, if you're finding that you're reaching way more females, well, you're probably going to talk differently than you are to an audience that's all males because in general, and obviously everyone's different, but in general, there are certain things that women relate to and, um, you know, you're just going to phrase things differently, possibly. So this is really good information that can help you to determine who your audience is and really drill down and um, work on how you're speaking to them in your posts and things. What country are they from? Most are from the U.S. Second most are from India. Okay, well, what city are they coming from? Um, these are different cities that people are looking at my page from. What language, what's their native language? So you can see some great information here to learn more about the demographics of your audience. And this is helpful in knowing who to speak to and how to speak when you are creating posts. So again, I don't wanna get super crazy um, with this category. You uh, fans and followers, see we don't have too much difference here. Um, but, but anyway, this gives you a basic overview of how to understand these particular categories. And if nothing else, you can tell what days of the week, what posts are doing best. So let's look at posts. So here we go. So let's scroll down. These are posts to my page. 
what type of post, a photo post that was published on May 18th, um, shared public. These are all public. Reach was 26 people. So I just posted this this morning, actually. And five people, as you can see, clicked on the post and one person reacted to the post. Now, here's another one. Okay, here is something that I shared. This was actually a share from another site. This was a link. Okay, 24 people had it appear on their newsfeed, no engagement and no um, clicks or anything. Now, I also want to go, what are my best posts? So I'm going to scroll down. Wow, this one did good. You know what this was? This was a bouquet of flowers my husband sent me just to be nice. And look at the numbers on this one. And here's another great one. Um, this is a personal happy Easter post. Again, look at the numbers. So what this is telling me, and you're going to find this too, is that the posts that do the best are personal, not, not like, you know, insights to your personal life. Just people want to know you, meet you, see you, learn a little bit about you. And when you put yourself or something about you on a post, it typically does so much better. People buy from people, not businesses. And as you can tell by my little stats here, that's so true, right? I mean, you can see that the most, uh, the ones that did, oh, and then another one that did decent was my ribbon in the sky, which you guys saw, we used it as an example. Um, that was just a very heartfelt, nice gesture that somebody paid for and had skywriting done in all these different parts of Orange County. So yeah, so those are the things that really do the best. And I hope this is helpful. If you have specific questions, let me know. Um, why not at this point, you go click on your insights and go ahead and take a look and just see what these things are. Now, if you're brand new to Facebook, yeah, you may want to wait a little bit. Um, you you want to give it at least a week or so to start seeing any type of traction at all. Um, but there you go. And I hope this was very helpful to you.